Jean from Misha Makes again. Um, I did say that I would have lots to do in January, but unfortunately we've had children, grandchildren who were poorly and grandmas had to go and look after them while daddy and mummies were at work. And then I've had, uh, the husband was poorly, so too busy fussing around him. I know I'd rather leave him in a bedroom and just close the door, but uh, you have to look after them as well. And then I, Although I said I wouldn't, we wouldn't be very busy at work, we've actually been fairly busy and I forgot we've got the accounts to do, so I have to do the accounts as well. But anyway, here's some time that I found to manage to have fine spare and I thought this time I would do the Resolutions, 2018 Resolutions, and here they go. Question one was, what was your favourite make of 2017? Well, my favourite make, I had seven favourite makes, so I really can't actually pick, well, I can pick one because, I, as you may have seen in my previous vlogs, I love, 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 loved it! And that was the McCall 6891 shirt dress. That was such a perfect dress. Trouble is, I haven't worn it very often because um, I don't like to wear it. It's so nice, I don't like to wear it, and that's my bugbear. So probably in the springtime, when it gets a slight bit warmer, but not that warm in England, I might get it out and start wearing it a bit more. But that was my favourite one, a Call 6891. The other one that I liked, there's two others that I liked. One of them was the Hemlock Tea. Uh, the green line hemlock tea because it was a free pattern and also because um, I turned out quite a lot of tops from it and I I just thought the hemlock tea was a good t-shirt to make and it uh, not just t-shirt I used it for fabrics that weren't stretchy and I, I produced quite a few tops with it so that really was one that I liked because A it was free and B because it um, I thought it was very versatile the next one that I did towards the end of 2017, which I actually liked and, and as you know I've done some uh, uh, so along with, was making a bra. I never ever thought I'd ever get round to making a bra for myself and I did and in fact I've now made bra number two, as you know it's a pink one this time. There will be more, I may try something different. Um, but. Given that I'm a big busted lady, I was so thrilled to bits to be able to create a nice bra that wasn't black, that I can do with nice colours, and I'm looking forward to trying some floral type of fabric so that I can see whether what that's going to look like and watch this space because I might end up showing you what I've made. Question two, what did you attempt in 2017 that you won't be doing this year and why not? Well, I first started, well, I came back into sewing at the beginning of last year, beginning of 2017, and I got hooked on vlogs, on watching vlogs, on watching some of the young people in vlogs, and you do tend to get carried along with them sometimes. There were fabric stash vlogs, there was pattern vlogs, there was making vlogs, and every vlog I watched, I thought, oh, I've got to make that, and I've got to buy that, oh, I like that fabric, I'll get that fabric, and... Um, I ended up making, buying far too much fabric and it was something that by halfway through the year I suddenly thought, hold on a minute, these people are on a roller coaster and they're going to burn themselves out because they're creating too many garments in such a short time, you know, sometimes five, six, seven garments a month. Yeah, you probably could do that much, I don't know. Uh, I have done that many in, in a month before, you know, but um, some of them, I felt that some of them were... were doing so many garments, if you try to keep up with them, you would, you, you know, your A would never have a relationship with your family, B would be lucky if you could have any money left in your purse, and C, uh, what, there is, what is there a C, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, my, the downside was that I felt that I was buying too much fabric, I was building up a stash of fabric that didn't really, hadn't really decided what I was going to do with, I was I bought so many patterns I think when I first started in January 2017 I must have had about 
15 or 16 patterns because I binned all the previous ones from 20 years ago, foolishly, I have to say. But I now, I think I must have about 60 patterns now, 60 to 100, 60 to 70, possibly even more, because I kept seeing a pattern and thinking, oh, I've got to buy that, or I buy that, and I buy that, and I bought PDFs and downloads and I bought patterns, and you just, you t I've got so many patterns, whether I'll make them or not uh, is another thing, so... Um, I will be more sensible in 2018 in my purchasing of fabric, in my purchasing of patterns and um, in how, what, what I spend my money on. The other thing that I found was that sometimes I was buying fabric online and when it came to me it didn't look anything like what I wanted it to be so, as I've mentioned in a previous vlog and so I think I should think seriously about what I'm buying online and, I'm, online, and I may even um, get samples instead. Less rush and make sure I've got exactly what I want or I may even buy local more likely buy local. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get what you, you can actually see what you what you're buying. Question three: What are you going to continue doing? Um, I'm going to continue sewing. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to continue doing. I'm going to continue pushing myself to do more complicated things. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to continue doing, but whatever it is, I will continue to do it. <laughs> I'm going to continue um, sewing with Jersey, which I enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to add one thing that I'm not going to continue doing, it, and I think it's possibly I'm not going to continue making clothes with Scuba because I loved the Scuba. I thought it was nice. I thought it was a bit strange because it was thick, but it's so darn cold against your skin, and it might be lovely if you're abroad, if you live in a hot country, but in the middle of winter, a thick a thick garment that touches your skin that's got that cold feel like I, I told you about with Ryan Nylon that is it, it just every time I put it on I say, if I wore it for work I'd say golly this is so cold against my skin and I had to wear a t-shirt underneath a little uh, sleeveless t-shirt tank top and then I find I was too hot so um, I don't think I'll be doing scubas and it's annoying because I do some lovely flower flowery patterns and things with scubas but I just don't think it's worth the hassle. Um, number four, so I've kind of, I've kind of gone around that question, what are you going to continue doing? I really don't know, I'm going to just continue sewing, um, doing what I love doing, which is sewing. Number, number four, what are you going to try this year? Um, well, I already have been, but I haven't made mention of it last year. But I'm going to try handbags, purses, and making hats, and uh, I'm going to make a couple of coats, I think. I'll try and make a couple of coats. I quite fancy um, making, it's a long time since I made coats. I used to make coats a lot when I was in my 30s and 35, 40, and I just think it would be quite nice to make a coat. So, um, but handbags and purses, I have made a couple of bags, uh, but I want to, I'd like to concentrate on that a bit more. I've made, I haven't shown you them, but I've made four purses for Christmas for presents, and uh, I enjoyed that. And so, yes, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to um, continue with those. As well as clothes, as well as clothes, um, I'd like to make clothes for myself. Yes, so that's that. I'm going to make handbags, purses, hats, coats, and um, I think that that's probably what I'm going to base my uh, and clothes and clothes and dresses and, and trousers. Um, I am going to cut down on the amount of dresses I wear. A lot of other people who've done the research solutions have said the same thing. We tend to make after last year I was watching all this is what I'm saying about the vlogs I was watching a lot of people doing dresses and I made I turned out about probably about 20 dresses 15 20 dresses some of which went straight into the bins some of them are in the wardrobe but I'm not a dress person so really I keep kept telling myself you know why are you making these dresses because you know I used to be a dress person but I'm not not much now and having said that 
when I do put a dress on and go to work in a dress, I feel very, ooh, really very posh, you know, and very um, dressed up. So um, I would like to like to make dresses. I think I'll, I'll not so many, not so many anyway. Um, yeah, I probably not make as many dresses. So, uh, but I, but I, I've got my eye on at least two that I want to make next year. And number five, where do you see your handmade wardrobe by the end of this year? And what about in five years? Well, by the end of this year, I'd like to see me with a few more accessories like uh, handbags, purses, hats. Uh, probably half of it being handmade. Uh, I do, I do still buy stuff. I've got this is this is a Marks and Spencer's top, which I love. I've had it a couple of years, and I do love it. Gilets to keep me warm. I'm actually filming this in my little workshop, so it's uh, I need a little gilet to keep me warm in here. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd say half and half, half sewing, half half purchase stuff. But I'm beginning to earn more on the on the sewing side than I am on the purchase side. So uh, yeah, that should be that, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And handbags and purses. I'm really I'm really getting into handbags and purses. So. Uh, this time next year, or this, no, Christmas time this year, I think a lot of people, don't tell them, but I think a lot of people will be getting Christmas presents and purses and handbags. Um, I've also got my eye on a few scarf type things, which I'm going to do some, some uh, 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 videos to show you what I do. Um, but yeah, that's what I fancy doing in one year's time, at the end of this year. By the end of five years, well... As you all know, I'm not a young lady, and if God, if him up there doesn't want me, and he's going to let me stay this lot, this here, then that's fine, because my father lived till he was 92, and on the day that he died, he was fixing a watch. So uh, I'd like to be, I'd like to think that, the, that if I can live to 92, 93 rather, and I'm sewing a dress on when I'm 93, that's all, that, I'm happy. But anyway, um, in five years' time, I'd like to think I... I am starting to do it a bit more self-drafting and I'd like to make my own clothes. I'd like to think I'm doing just about 75 to 80% of my own things. I'd like to think I'm making my own bras, my own underwear, my own jumpers, my own tops, my own coats, handbags, um, uh, purses and uh, scarves and things. I'd like to think that quite a lot of it's going to be handmade. And uh, oh, and, and I'd like to see myself making more things for my husband because uh, I'd like to make him some sweatshirts and uh, not he doesn't he's not a shirt wearer but uh, I'd like to see make a few more of his things more <coughs> more leisure wear lounge wear type things like a sweatshirt or a, um, a zipped up front uh, jacket or something uh, so I'd like to try those. <coughs> It's what you tend to do when you get bored with making your own clothes. You start, you start making more for your husband. So that's it. So there you go, ladies. That it, those are my resolutions, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And um, my next one will be make nine, 2018 make nine, or make nine in 2018. One of those. You'll catch me next time. Bye.